Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be playing your games. So you might remember a couple of weeks ago or maybe a month or something when I hit 20,000 subscribers what I did was I put out a video asking for you to send me your games so I can play them. Now I'm really sorry that it's been a while but obviously I've been quite busy with university assignments, Christmas break and all that stuff but I am still doing it and here we are today and since I've received so many different entries I think it's about 30 I've been contemplating and debating how I want to do this and I think I've decided what I'm going to do is just a load of different videos so just maybe 20 to 30 minute videos so I can actually play all of your games instead of just playing a select few in like an hour long video so that's what I'm going to be doing today starting with this one I'm not sure how many I'm going to get through today I'll see just so I can keep the video down to a shortish length and so again I've already had the entries sent to me but I will most likely do videos like this again in the future so I will probably ask you to send me games again further down the line where I'll be doing videos like this once again, especially if you enjoy it. And I will also be linking the games in the description down below. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So I'm going to be starting off with Boxy. Now Boxy is an arcade game that is fun to play, don't hit the old schools, complete your level and have fun. So let's get into this one. So here we are in the main menu, let's see if we can turn down the volume, I can, perfect. So I think something like that should be good. Let's go back, have a look at the controls. So it looks like a side scroller by the looks of it. And let's hit play. Oh, 10 different levels, that's nice. Start with level 1. Okay, so it's like an endless run of them. Oh, cool. This one's good. Level complete. There you go. Let's go to level 2. Ah, oh, this concept. Oh, sorry. Can't jump then. You should have known from the controls. It feels very slidey, which I think I think is uh, meant to be like that. I do like that because I've never really had an endless runner which is slidey like this. Definitely makes it more difficult, which I think is the point. Okay, so not being able to jump is definitely hard. Okay, that was a bit early there. I like the score at the top going up too. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> I just went straight off the edge there. I like the box uh, flipping at the start there if you go too fast. There we go. I still went off the edge, but I completed that. Oh, wow, okay. So I've noticed as well you do build up momentum as you're going, which is definitely cool as well. I really like the, uh, the controls, the mechanics of this game. So again, I really like the, uh, the momentum build up as you're moving, and the slidey controls, because it definitely does make it quite hard, but in a good way, in a fun way. There we go, oh, slid off the edge again. There we go, there you go. Fine, <laughs> that took me way too long to do. Oh no, what's this? So I'm gonna go through here and through these to the right. <laughs> I went too early. And to the right. Oh, and it's just a zigzag all the way up. Oh, we're too early sometimes. Oh, there's more. Oh, it's a jump. Okay. I thought that was going to be the end. There we go, that's the end. Okay, I like this. Oh, you have to go to the ramp on the left. Okay. So I should maybe try to go this way to the right so I can zigzag right then left. Oh, I just missed it. Yeah, I'm getting better as time goes on. I'm definitely getting more hang of the controls a bit better. I'm just jinxing it, haven't I? Yep. There we go. Go past the. Oh, of course I messed it up there. Right, okay, I don't want to spend too long on each game, so I think I might call it quits here because I can't get past this level. Uh, but I do really like this game though, definitely. I like the controls, it being nice and slidey, you're building up momentum, stuff like that. 
does get a bit tricky actually got one obviously which again is a great idea and i'm just obviously not too great at video games in general anyway uh, so especially this one but i did really love that so thank you and on to the next one so the next one is called a cure for jessica and this is an emotional story driven game where you play as dr olivia a scientist trying to find a way to cure her daughter explore the world and save jessica from this deadly virus as you recall some memories now i imagine this is probably going to be quite a long one by the looks of it so i probably won't be able to play the whole thing but we are definitely going to play some of it. So just launching it now and then let's get right into it. I love the look of the background of the main menu. It's really nice. Oh, here we go. There's the music. Uh, quality Ultra as well. Resolution 1080. Let's keep all this on. Is there any audio? A cure for Jessica. New game. This game can be completed in one sitting. Okay. That's good to know. Let's see how quick it is. Utah, USA, 2091. I went halfway around the world to find anything. Anything at all. All the components they've sent me are now useless. The search for a cure is killing me. I'm losing hope. Well, this looks beautiful. Wow, look at that. Okay. I really love the look at this. Building up there. I imagine I'm just going to go this way. Into the sunset. Wow, this looks really nice. <laughs> Some nice sun rays there through the trees as well. I should go back to the lab. Oh, okay, I shouldn't Maybe go this there's way. Some news about the components. I imagine that's the lab, right? Oh, I can't go this way. I should go oh, back no, to I can't. the lab. Okay. <laughs> Maybe there's some news about the components. If I just walk up here. I think I do. Okay. Nice. This looks cool. Where's the the door though? I can jump. Let's go through there. No, you can't. It's a window. Here we go, it's on the other side. Maybe I came to the wrong place, I don't know. <laughs> That's locked. Okay, so I've got to find a key. Oh great, where did I leave oh, the key card? You interact with it. That's over there, okay. That's nice. Just leave it on the floor. Yeah, it did. Here it is. Got the key card. Let's go back. Now I can get back to the lab. The voice acting this is really good as well. Yeah, it's another lab. There we go. Welcome back, Dr. Olivia. Did you get the components? No, I guess they didn't send them after all. Are you sure? I'm sorry to hear that. No, you were not. You were just an android. That was offline. There we go. I don't know what that did, but the server's now online. Patient report. Fever detected. Press F to test new vaccine. Missing opponents. Ah, of course, yeah. You must go to the notification screen. Oh, there's a head. <laughs> oh, is that the, uh, the patient, maybe? Never give up. The cure is near. Oh, is this the notification screen? Are now ready. Press F to request them. The door before requesting the components. The government can't know Jessica's here. Okay. Close the door. Okay. Now we'll request the components. The government can't know she's here. I wonder why. Now let's request them. Component should have been requested. This should take a few minutes. Okay. I should just walk around for a few minutes then. It's a nice bed. Not made, but you know. Oh, they've arrived. That was quick. Your points were sent to make sure to collect them outside. Collect the first component 03. The government is sending okay. you some new components for testing. This can contain the cure you've been waiting for. Please make sure to collect them outside. That's good to know. Fingers crossed they are actually there. What I need, and it works. Dr. 
Dr. Olivia, I suggest you to close okay. the door before going too far. It's <laughs> a good rule. Remember, the government can't know about Jessica. Right. I wonder why. Because, okay, they're quite spread out. I'm going for this one first, I guess. Don't know if it's the closest, but it's the first one I saw. Oh wow, okay. Some of uh, that steep terrain. I remember when we used to play with Max here. Jessica just loved to slide down this ramp with him. It does look quite fun to be fair. I would stay here all day. <laughs> like brothers. The terrain does look really nice right here. I hope there's not full damage. So I'm probably gonna fall. Now we're fine, we're fine. I don't even know if I have a health bar actually. Can't see one. There we go, there it is. Don't know why they sent it so far away. But okay, yeah, there's no health. I'm good. I hope I can climb that back actually. <laughs> Collecting component. There we go. One of three. Yeah, there we go. Finally, there's one. Nice. I can't climb this. Superhuman. All right, that's the next one. Let's go to this one first. Feels like it's probably closer. Don't know if it is or not, but I'm just gonna assume it is. This was the place where Jessica got sick. Max was really scared after the bombing, so he just ran away from the lab. We had been looking for him all morning. I remember the army looking for us. They suspected we were sick. Wow. When we finally found Max, he was acting all weird and aggressive. We ran to Jessica and bit her leg. She should have stayed at the lab, but I thought it was safer for her to be with me. I'm not going to be able to forgive myself for what I did to her. Anyway, I had to take him down. Jessica just kept crying. These are the moments that I want to forget. Wow. Okay. So I guess the virus is maybe some sort of zombie type virus maybe? And uh, Jessica's brother got it. I don't know, there's some deep story here. I'm not too sure how to get back up. <laughs> and also, I collected some uh, resource. I said collect seven resources for Jessica. I don't know whether that's just maybe just like a, an additional bonus objective, maybe. Or what's the next objective I need to do? I don't know. I also don't know if I'm missing something obvious on how to get back. But I can't seem to get back up anywhere. I haven't tried it all the way around here yet, so I'll do that next, but I imagine it's just going to be the same vertical cliff all the way around. Okay, this one wasn't as far. Collecting the second vaccine component now. All there right. we go. There's one more left, I think. There is indeed. Should be down here, hopefully not too far. Then make the vaccine for Jessica. Don't know if I need to collect any more resources. I think I think it said one out of seven. Sometimes I, I wonder if there's one. any more survivors in this area. It's been a while since the last bomb, you know. There was a sickness inside them. It made them aggressive. My daughter caught the infection, and I've been treating her ever since. I wonder what it is. All it said was there is a uh, virus going around. It clearly makes them aggressive. I went halfway around the world to find anything. Anything at all. All the components they've sent me are now useless. The search for a cure is killing me. I'm losing hope. These maybe resources. 
I imagine the sun thinks they're glowing. There it is, okay. So we're assemble the resources and collect it. Yeah, two out of seven. Okay, there's another one up here that I saw. And I might have walked past other ones and just didn't notice them. I'm not sure. Again, I don't know if that's like a, a bonus thing or the next objective after the vaccine. Not too sure. When Jessica had her 12th birthday, I took her surfing for the first time with her friends from school. They spent the day laughing while everyone was falling off their surfboards. I can't remember a moment she was that happy. I do like the story coming in and out to really just keep expanding upon it as I'm exploring the wilderness. Okay. Finally, I got them. All right. Now I should get back to the lab and test these components. Hopefully, it will work. Fingers crossed. This is my last chance to cure Jessica. Okay. So we've got all the vaccine components. Hope it works. Oh, please let me get up here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> See if I notice any more resources on the way back. Can't see any down there. Shall I just go this way? I think this is where I started, isn't it? Yeah, it will be, because the lab's up there. Okay, so we're back. Let's open the door. Let's close it. There we go. I imagine we go over to this area here. Where I was earlier. Patient report. See if it's detected. The components yeah. were validated. Administering vaccine GERHID 1.0. Please stand by. Fail to cure. Damn. Beta tester. Jessica will remain infected. Blood transfusion. Press F to sacrifice yourself. Okay. I guess she is my daughter. Let's see what the announcement is first. Oh, that's just the components were sent. Well, Jessica's my daughter, so I guess we're going to have to sacrifice ourselves, aren't we? What's F? This action might kill you. Do you, want to, do you wish to continue? Yes. Missing resources. Okay, so that's what we need the resources for. You need to go outside and collect the remaining resources for Jessica. So I've got three out of seven already. Does it tell me where the others are? Yes, it does. Okay, perfect. So we're going to save her one way or another, even if it ends up killing us. Okay. See, I did walk past the other resources and just didn't notice. That was four, five, six, seven. Okay. It's just a vertical drop, oh no. Okay, it's a really good job there's no health in this. <laughs> I've died many times over. There we go, that's 4 out of 7, I believe. Yeah, there we go. The other one didn't seem too far away, actually. I think it's literally just over this hill. Then the other two on the other side of the lab. I'm just going to have to get those. Oh, I don't know if I can climb this. I'm going to have to go all the way around again. Yeah, I'm going to have to go around. Yep, <laughs> okay. Should be just down here. There it is, yep. So I wonder what the resources do. If we're going to sacrifice ourselves, I don't know what the resources allow us to do. They just look like plants. I'm also assembling them, so... I don't know. We'll see when we get to the lab, I guess. Let's go for this one first. Then we'll work our way back around to the lab that way. Yeah, because the lab's there, so... Makes sense. This place doesn't look the same after the attack. It's so sad that they had to attack this area. I guess it was a necessary measure to stop the spreading of the virus. So it sounds like there's a virus outbreak and they had to bomb this place to prevent this spread of the virus going any further. There, I can 
see it just over that hill next to the tree there. Oh, I'm gonna have to go all the way around though. So I can get up here. There we go. Okay, there we go. One more to get, and then we should be able to sacrifice ourselves to save Jessica. I wonder if this one, if I do have to go all the way around to get that over there. Imagine I possibly do. Let's find out. Let's see. Maybe not. This place became dead after the bombing. All those infected people are now dead. I was lucky to hide Jessica. If they knew she was infected, they'd kill her too. I have to protect her. The government can never find out where she is. So that's why she has to be so secretive and hide from the government. So yeah, they did bomb the place to uh, secure and prevent the spread of the virus. Seems like a little extreme methods of spread of preventing it, but there you go. I really like the sun rays coming off there as it goes behind the cliff. That looks really good. And here's the final one. I've kind of lost my bearings of where the lab is, but I imagine I just go back the same way I came. I should get back. Unless I can go forwards, but I don't know. That's worth a try. I miss the old days when everyone was okay. The days where there was no fear of being bombed at any instant. Those were the times when Jessica and Max were inseparable. Like they were glued together. I can't believe she had to see him like this. I hope she doesn't remember what happened to him when she wakes up. Most of the infected people don't seem to remember anything after being sick. What a strange time to be alive. Okay. So I can't go that way, but there's more story. There's a load of dead trees over there. It's like a dead forest. Yeah. Here we are, we're back. So let's now make the big Sacrifice to save a daughter. Save Jessica. Blood transfusion. Yes. Here we go. Blood types matched. Blood transfusion in progress. Final result. No adverse reactions. Blood transfusion successfully cured the patient. My cell life as well? Welcome back, Jessica. If you're listening to this, then you're finally cured, and your mother's no longer here. But don't worry. Everything is gonna be fine. Your mother worked very hard for your cure, and wanted you to build a new world for yourself. She prepared plenty of food and resources for a lifetime. The virus will never get to you again. Okay, I'll be signing out now. Goodbye, Jessica, and have a good life. Wow, okay. So we cured Jessica, but Olivia died. Well, mother sacrifice. There we go. It definitely was a very good, deep story. I really enjoyed that. It looked fantastic. Storyline was great. Voice acting as well. Perfect. I really enjoyed that. It was great. Amazing. Nice work. Again, the gameplay was basically go to collect this, come back, go to collect that, come back. But it, it worked really well in this instance, especially with the story and everything. It didn't feel too repetitive, didn't feel lengthy. This was perfect. I absolutely love this. Nice work. Let's go on to the next one. And the next one is Eleutheromania. Sorry if I mispronounced that. I believe that's probably correct. And this is a pre-prototype of a psychological horror game. The objective of the game is to provide the feeling of Eleutheromania, a mad zeal or irresistible craving for freedom, okay? But most importantly is to make the player enjoy the game. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy my game prototype. Sounds awesome. Okay.
So controls, obviously movement, run, lean, glow stick, flashlight, lighter, I assume that's meant to be, and menu. Game doesn't pause though. Right click to use the key if you have one. Okay, let's get into this one then. New game. Tip, the stars represent your safety. That's a cool feature. Okay. This looks great so far. I really like the style of it. Quarantine, no entry, no removal. That's another virus. Where am I? It's so dark. Maybe I should take that glow stick. What glow stick? That glow, that glow stick. There we go. Glow stick added to inventory. There we go. G. Okay. This looks nice. The lighting effects look really good down here. Grunge Art Exhibition 2019. 40% off, that's a good deal. Deal. <laughs> We're going deep, aren't we? God can't save you. Oh no. Trust no one. Everyone is dead. What's that? Oh, there's blood on the floor. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh no. Where am I going? What is going to. Oh, is it the glow stick? Oh, I think it's the glow. Okay. I thought there was something down there. They're coming. Oh no. That's a lot of blood. Where am I? This is a stairway to hell or something. 4th Avenue, Broadway, Times Square. Oh, okay, it's just saved. <laughs> this means something's probably on the other side of this door. Okay, so we're in the subway by the looks of it. Yeah, there's a train there. Guess we go towards the train. Let's see what's the door here first. Okay, so the door doesn't open. It's locked, door D21. That looks terrifying, so we can go to the train instead. That's completely blocked off. Can I get in? You can climb some surfaces by pressing the left mouse button. Cool, okay. Oh, this is ten times scarier now. What's going on? The electricity still works, I guess, for that. Oh no. I don't know if I really want to go in there, to be honest. Oh dear. Oh, where's the music stopped? Save your progress by interacting with the diary that the game always has auto save. Okay. That was a key as well. Key D21. Key D That's good. Okay, what else is down here though? Nothing. What are those bodies? Oh, yeah. I didn't even notice. I was looking at the crisp packet. Wow, okay. Why am I here? <laughs> and where is here? Make your dreams come true. Oh, that's a good point, I suppose. Okay, let's just get out of here, go to D21. Oh, the music's picking up again. What happens if I try to open this door? Or does it just not let you? Nothing? Okay. Door won't budge. What's down here? I imagine probably just nothing, but let's see. Sounds terrifying. There's a lot of blood. Um, uh, probably this is just. No, that's right, right. Yeah. Is that an actual train come? Oh my god. Oh, oh 
my god. Okay. So I guess don't go that way. <laughs> that actually got me. I wasn't expecting an actual train to... Okay. Alright, well I get the key. I've already got the key. Well, let me pick it up. Oh, there we go. So I already know what's down there. Okay, so don't go down there because you'll get run over by a train. <laughs> Learn that out the hard way. So D21, which is this door here. Let's, let's go in. Oh great, it's more stairs going down. I was going to say, is this where I just started? Oh, it's a loop, isn't it? Oh no. Okay, it's a very good music choice. I'll put that in there. Okay, it's pitch black without the glow stick. It's a bad idea to put away. Whenever there's an auto save in a game, I feel like something bad's about to happen. At the bottom. I have a feeling it's going to be back into the subway. Yep. <gasps> oh my god. Okay. What well, I was going to say is there a train there, and there was. So do I have to try and avoid trains? <laughs> Why is there so many stairs? Where? Where? Well, where I just was? Then it's a good question. <laughs> what was that? Is that a body? I feel like a train's gonna run me over. Glow stick is dead. Oh no. Maybe I shouldn't cross a line. Why? Do I need that flashlight? Oh, is that what that is? Oh, it is, yeah. Can I just lean over? The train's just gonna run me over, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I need the flashlight. What's that sound? Oh, no. I'm not even looking where that is. Oh, okay, that was close. It's damaged, but it works. Yep, it's better than nothing. Better than glow stick as well. Okay, so I guess I just keep going down. Oh, I can't go in there. Oh no. Do I go in there? I feel like a train is just gonna. Oh no, I can't go down here with the light now. What's that? Oh, this is horrible. How do I end up in this situation? This is steep. Okay, that's just vertical. Oh no. Oh my. Diary updated. Find some medication and find a light source. Okay. Oh, my health's on 5%. I feel like I need medication. Do I not have the flashlight anymore then? Nope. Okay. I can barely see as well. Is that, is that a lighter? There's a lighter. There's a V. Okay, so I've got a light source. It's medication. Where am I? Am I in a cabin? There is, it's a bit. Where am I? Okay, so medication. It's a diary, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so. Where would medication be? Is that a key? Or a pill? It's a key. Yeah, old cupboard key. Okay. Sounds like a place where there'd be medication. If I don't know where the old cupboard is. Over here. This. 
There we go. That's why I wasn't in your cupboard because I didn't need to unlock it. There's nothing in there. No camera read. Simple key to open the cupboard. Okay, I can't crouch by the looks of it. That one's locked. There we go, medication. Painkiller added to inventory. The lights come on. On TV even. Oh no. Another key. Well, how do I use the medication first off? Use. There we go. Okay. That's much better. I can see now. Okay, it's not the outside. It's a nice looking cabin, it's just in the middle of nowhere. I don't think it's mine. Oh no. Well, I mean, I don't really want to open the door. But I'm gonna have to. It's locked anyway. Um. Oh, what's gonna happen? I can't turn the TV back on. No, it's tree trunks. I feel like something's gonna jump up at me at the window. Oh, the door's open now. Why is this on a long corridor? Oh, this is horrible. I'm mean, hopefully that's my dog. Just cut out, something's gonna happen, isn't it? Oh, it's back. Blood, that's great. Wind. Feels so nice. I mean, if it was cold, probably. I must flee from this place, that seems like a good idea. Okay, I can't go that way. Sure, force the unknown of the corridor. Go the other way then. Oh. <coughs> now I'm back in here. Oh no. I was so close to escaping. Oh, well, that has been knocked off the wall. Someone in the bed. Or something in the bed. Very lumpy. What's this? That was a diary. Yeah, let me save. See if the door's open. It is. Okay. So. That door's closed now, so I guess I'll go this way. Come over here. I but not then go right trust me why did I trust you when your door's covered in blood like this well it said to go right what's that it said right but I don't know if I trust it but I feel like if I go left and go against it it's just going to kill me He's watching. Oh, great. Well, then I should probably go right. I don't want to see what happens if I go left, though. Does it matter? Lights need to be refilled with a third. Oh, no. Does it matter? I don't know. That's a good question. <coughs> you feel a slight pain in your chest. I have no more medication, do I? No light sources. Okay. Your chest pain increases slightly. Am I just gonna die? Help. Oh, what is that? Oh no. This is horrible. Am I dead? Oh, 
heart attack or what happened? Thank you for playing the demo. Hope you enjoy the game or content will be added soon. That was very good. I actually really like that. Goodbye, see you later. I wonder what would happen if I went the other way. With him. That was very good though, I really enjoyed that. Definitely had a, spook, a few spooks in there. Uh, that was really good. The drain's got me. <laughs> Wasn't expecting it at all. That was definitely very good. Psychological horror, really enjoyed that. Okay, nice work. And they're saying they're going to keep updating it as well. So they've got the future goals here, that's cool. Add voice lines, better soundtrack. I, I enjoyed the music, it did work very well. Add the completed story, it's already been written, nice. Better sound effects, controller input, option setting menu, that'd be good. Turn game into a VR, ooh, that'd be good. VR psychological horror, and this. Make the game PSX style graphics. I mean, I did really enjoy the way it looks, the way it sounds, the way it controls, everything was there, it was perfect, but yeah, if you keep advancing the story, I think it could be really good. Nice work. I really enjoyed that one. So I think that will probably be it for this episode on playing your games. I've gone through three today. Two of them were fairly long, especially the middle one. Uh, but they were all absolutely great. I really did enjoy and love all of them. And I hope you enjoyed this as well. And again, I'm going to continue doing this. At the moment, I'm only going through games which I've already been sent for celebration with 20,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for that. I know we're close to 24,000 at the moment. But again, really do appreciate it. So thanks very much. And obviously... If you enjoy this type of content, I will continue doing it in the future. This is the first one I've properly done, so sorry if it wasn't too great. I'll obviously get better as I continue to do this. But thanks so much for the subscribers, and thanks so much for sending me your games. I really did enjoy them. So, if you enjoyed this, make sure to like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you all in the next one.